Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be talking a little bit about the Army Painters War Paints Fanatic Paints. Now, I was kindly sent the new starter set recently and I have to say they're absolutely epic. These are literally the best acrylic paints that I have ever, ever used. And I've used everything guys, AK Third Gen, Pro Acrylic, Scale 75, Vallejo and all their different ranges and so on and so forth. And uh, I think these paints literally are the bee's knees uh, for want of a better saying. Uh, they're so good. But we're gonna go over that in the video. Uh, what you'll see in front of us here is the all the paints that you get in the starter set. Uh, also, miniatures that I've painted using uh, the new Fanatic paints. Uh, little caveat, uh, I've only got a small selection, so I'd say maybe 90% of these paint uh, uh, miniatures were painted using Fanatics and in conjunction with the Army Painters Speed Paints 2.0. Uh, but there might be the odd paint that uh, I had to substitute uh, from a different range. Uh, like, for example, you'll see fluorescent paints on that Skaven miniature there, uh, which obviously I've not got at the moment to uh, to, to test. But uh, mainly use the Fanatic paints there on these miniatures. And what I've found uh, straight off the bat is the coverage is insane. Uh, and I really do mean that. Uh, when, when I say insane, I mean this is uh, their uh, pure red, which is that paint there that I'm pointing at, and just placing a blob onto the palette, like palette base rather. Uh, you, you can see that it it paints like pretty much one coat. Uh, as you can see on the very bottom uh, left hand or just the very bottom of the base, uh, I heavily watered it down and it still covers really well even when you water it down a lot, which is fantastic for glazing and that sort of thing, uh, techniques. Uh, the set itself comes with strong tone wash which is brilliant for metallics as it's like a uh, an oily blacky type uh, wash comes with two of the most important metallics that you need which is a gold in greedy gold and uh, uh, like a silver in plate male metal you got your uh, rgbs your red your green your blue You've got matte black, which is very important color. White, again, very important. You've got a leather brown and a brush on primer. Okay, so the brush on primer is really good. And it's so good, in fact, that every single one of these miniatures, rather than traveling up to the loft in my house, I actually brush primered all of these miniatures with the brush on primer and it just works fantastic. It's very, very easy to use. You just put it on a palette, start brushing it over the raw plastic miniature and a couple of minutes later, you're ready to apply your uh, regular acrylics once it's dried. Um, the paint is so good as well in regards to the application on a palette or wherever you apply the paint. It never splits. What I mean by that is so far, every single one of these paints, when placing it down, uh, whether it's a palette or the back of a base as it is here, uh, it just doesn't separate. I mean, even with really high quality paints like AK Interactive's third gen paints, I found that they always need to be sh uh, shaken up uh, as the paint can separate so you'll have like a gel type medium separate from the pigment uh, which is not ideal at all but i've not found that once with the army painters paints also uh, these dry as you can see with a very very slight satin finish now i really like that personally because um if the paint dries too matte, you can let, be let, left with like a, a, a chalky look, which I find with scale 75 scale colour paints. Uh, and, and that's not ideal at all. And also what you'll find is because I've got an ever so slight 
satin finish that will leave a tougher finish than a very very matte finish uh, so i really like that about these paints as well uh, really nice touch and and that's it really that i can say at the moment i i have only tried a small range as you can see guys uh, but the range that i have tried every single one of these has been just epic uh really 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 top top tier quality paints and just if you've used the previous generation of army paints as war paints and you was less than happy with the results i can assure you and honestly say that the difference in quality between the war paints fanatics and the original war paints is night and day the coverage night and day difference one coat coverage the actual uh consistency not having to shake the living bejesus out the bottles to get the pigment and medium to mix correctly night and day difference you don't have to do it at all with these paints they're that good uh, metallics beautiful finish as you can see on the gold on the dwarf there uh really really nice finish uh and, and the, the gold there that you can see looks different but all i've done is just use different uh speed paints over the gold uh that one was uh, i know for a fact one of my favorite speed paints hardened leather over the greedy gold and i can't remember what the other speed paint i used to get the different shade of gold but um yeah just love these paints so much so yeah guys if you love the army painter and what they stand for and in my personal opinion the best hobby company out there for how they support the community and uh, their, their support of their products if you didn't like their old war paints don't get things mixed up these are literally in a different class literally the best paints i have tried and like i say i've tried i've got the pretty much the full range of pro acrylic which are amazing i've got 180 or so ak interactive third gen paints which again superb but for me personally um these fanatic paints are just just the cut above the rest I, I just really love them so i can't wait to try more uh but yeah uh quick video guys sorry if the camera has been a little shaky if you've got any questions about these paints uh let me know in the comments field down below and uh thank you once again to the army painter for sending me this set out to test i'll catch you in the next video guys thanks bye